Hi, I'm Max. Following my complete tutorial on Tonics databases, here is a shorter one in less than 5 minutes, straight to the point and focused on moving profiles from an archive database into your main library. As a reminder, this is your documents IK Multimedia Tonics folder, and library.db is the file that Tonics reads when in use. And in this folder I have several archive databases sorted by month or so. You want to explore other profiles from July and August, so first you copy this DB file into the Tonex folder. Then, open Tonex, sort your list by date added first to last, go all the way down and remember the date of the last profile, so you know what time period to explore. For me, it's after the 19th of July. Close Tonex, rename library.db to library main.db and make a backup of it with Ctrl plus C and V. Then rename your archive to library.db to be read by Tonix and DB Explorer, speaking of which you can open right now. First, go to your Presets tab and delete everything if any line displays. Do the same for IRs and go back to Tone Models. For example, my metalhead wants high gain profiles with cabs only. So I sort by character and delete every profile that is not high gain. Don't worry about this error message, DB Explorer doesn't let you delete Black Angus since you couldn't start Tonix anymore without it. I then sort by type and delete everything that is not amp and cab or complex rig. Now I'm only left with what I need. Except that some profiles are probably already in my main database. Sort by date and delete everything past the last profile that's in your main DB, for me July 19th. Now I know there are only profiles I don't already have. Close DB Explorer, open Tonix, and proceed to try every damn profile. Mark his favorites the ones you like. Close Tonex, open DB Explorer again. Sort by favorite. And delete everything that is not favorite. Now you're left only with the profiles you're about to import. Close DB Explorer. Do a backup of library.db named like before import.db. Make sure .db files are associated with SQLite Studio and double-click on library main.db to open it. You can see it on the left panel as well as library.db which opens automatically with SQLite. If not, keep SQLite open, go back to your Tonix folder and double-click on library.db. Now for both libraries, go to the Tone Models table in the Structure tab. Make sure Favorite, Visible and CS and Date Added are in the same exact order in both. Here, they are not. So I move lines in library to match library main, never the other way around. Now they match. Validate the change. Now go to the data tab of library, tone models. In the filter search bar, type black angus. Delete the line and close the filter. Write down how many lines there are now. Click on a cell, do a Ctrl plus A to select everything and hit Ctrl plus C. Go to the data tab of library main, tone models. Click on the arrow next to the plus button, insert multiple lines, enter the number of lines you just wrote down, click OK. Click on the first cell of the new lines added, hit Ctrl plus V, your new profiles are here. Validate and close SQLite. If some lines are suddenly red, that means they are duplicates. 
Just delete these lines and validate again. In your Tonex folder, rename library.db to imported.db. Rename library main.db to library.db. And open Tonex to make sure it opens and your new profiles are successfully imported. Sort by date. Go all the way down. And voila, all good. Close Tonex. Delete imported.db before import.db and library main backup.db. You're done, everything works, your folder is clean, and your archive is still intact. I just needed less than 5 minutes except profiles testing, and I wasn't even at full speed. Do it once or twice, and you'll work at the speed of light. I'm done with this short example tutorial, thanks for watching, and please comment below if you need further explanations. See you next time.